Who are you? I'm Ventus. Call me Vent. A diamond thief! Take cover, you fools! <laughs> What are we gonna do with you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. You didn't? Oh, you mean you're not here for our diamonds? That's not nice. Treating me like some kind of bad guy? I'm just trying to find a friend. His name is Tara. He's dressed kind of like me, about yay tall. Sounds like a tall tale to me. Go on, get! We don't know any Tara. <sighs> Please, could you come over here? I just want to talk. Don't fall for it. Stay where you are. All right. Then we'll do this the hard way. Oh, Jesus, Van. Van, come on, buddy. You can't just be chasing these guys. That's rude. And, oh, I guess Dopey didn't run in there. Ugh. Damn you, Dopey. Okay, so Ven apparently wants to go beat up little people. Isn't that just wonderful? Alright, let's save over this game file. Which I have to do every time to remind myself of the fact that... I had this done, but my... Friggin' external hard drive's failure decided otherwise. And now I have to get a new one. And until then, I'm gonna be forced to essentially just work on two projects at a time, and even then, one of them's gonna have to at least be halfway done in editing. Which is not the case now. Oh, hello, Sneezy. Okay, the objective of this, in case you haven't noticed, is we have to catch all seven dwarfs. And by catch, I mean beat the snot out of them. Sneezy is over there making himself very presentable, and we know all too well about him. You know, the fact that we're clearing the unversed out of out of the out of the diamond mine, you'd think that the dwarves would be like nicer to us or something. All right, that was Grumpy clearly, because Grumpy is a grump. A grimp and grump and grump and grump and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but I don't care. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to deal with Grumpy first. Grumpy, get over here. Take so that and that and Yeah, Grumpy is the only one that will hurt, like intentionally hurt you because he's grumpy. And wow. I do like that. no damage. Oh well. Alright, one down and another five to go. I'm warning you, keep your mitts off our diamonds! Is it Lord of the Rings that convinced me that all dwarves have to sound like Gimli? Because I've watched Snow White more than I've watched Lord of the Rings, and you'd think that I'd want all the dwarves to be like the seven dwarves, but. No. Alright, let's see. Sneezy! Sneezy! It's okay, buddy. It's okay. There you go. Now you're out of now you're out of the box. My my hay fever. I got I got it. Oh, oh, Poor Sneezy. All right. So we gotta get happy, Doc, bashful, and sleepy. And I think I can hear someone snoozing. Oh, nope, there's someone moving in that one. Is that... But is that sleep? Well, we'll have to find out if it moves. It sounds like sleepy. Ah, yep, that's sleepy, alright. It's alright, sleepy. I'll take care of you, buddy. But you can't sleep in that crate, dude. It's, it's just... It's just, it's just not done. Like King Magad would say, it's not done. Oh, is it morning already? Uh, yeah. All right, 
tonight, that leaves three to go, and hey, payback raid! You know how long we had to wait to get the payback move for Terra? We get in the first world here, that's beautiful. Alright, and that's one of them, I didn't get the... I didn't get the auto, audi, audio tune. I don't know if that's gonna be Doc or... Actually, I think that's gonna be Happy. Doc is my spirit animal, because I feel like I talk like Doc more than anything else. Because I can't get, like, several coherent sentences together without screwing something up. Make sure I didn't miss anybody. I don't believe I did. Actually, I think this will be Doc. So yes, my spirit animal, Doc, get over here. I know I like to say a lot of other things are my spirit animals, but no. Doc fits the bill. Doc is like... I will, I will literally make every single logical sentence screw up. And it's all because of Doc from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. We haven't met any Mer Mer Terra, and, and we know if a stranger was around. I'm sure you would, Doc. I'm sure you would. My friggin' spirit animal right there. Alright, so this is Happy. I don't like beating you up, Happy, but it's gotta be done. I can't beat the game. Are you still running around? You sure seem nice. I wish we could help you. You can help me. You know. Don't be chill with me. The only ones who aren't chill with me are Grump- Oh, hey, Bashful. Okay, there's the last of them. Dopey and you were chill with me, and... Sleepy and Sneezy seem to be easily... Can be easily swayed, and probably Bashful, too. If I can get the five of you to turn around... Doc's not smart enough to keep this going all by himself. I gotta wait for that to come back. Ooh, I almost had it. Here and boom, you're done. You're done, bashful. You're just done. Why are you blushing? Come on. I'm not. I'm not do I look like Snow White to you? Ah, that's what they all say. Well, we're on to it. Fine, I get it. You want me to leave? I'll leave. Look at his friggin' hands. He looks like he could strangle two people with one hand. Oh, but can you tell me where I can find some other people around here? There's a castle beyond the chorus. I mean the forest. Got it. Well, thanks. Oh, well, it's also run by an evil evil queen. I mean, evil queen. But we're not going to tell you that. That wouldn't be prudent of Doc, who could be nice and be like, Look, we really don't know someone by the name of Terra. Wish we could help you, but we really can't. Got those stickers. Let's. Ooh, mini! I didn't realize we got that. Mini, in case you don't know, shrinks your opponents down to size and you can literally stomp on them to kill them. It's beautiful. But it does make me very concerned about Ven's well being. Uh, there you go. Alright, that works. Sticker collection and information. What can we get? Nothing really stand out there. Except Rhythm Mixer, of course, because that's the best command in the game. Now, before we head out and go see the Evil Queen, because apparently that's what we're supposed to do. The dwarves don't want to tell us that she's an evil witch, but whatever. Uh, there is something I do want to check out inside the mine. Because, as you know, you go to different parts of each world whenever you play as a certain character. The only, par the only parts of each world that are fully accessible to everyone are, if I'm not mistaken, the Land of Departure, which again isn't accessible to Ven until a while because he kind of ran away from home like a bum. And Olympus and Disney Town, if I'm not mistaken, because everybody else goes to different areas. Now, because of that, the prize pod locations are different, and if I'm not mistaken, somewhere in this mine are going to be the 
the prize pods. I don't remember which part of the mine, though. Stomp on you guys. I wonder if stomping on them gives you extra experience. I doubt it, but that would be fun. Otherwise, there really just isn't much of a point to it unless you're running like a chip one and doing like one of those challenges where you can't use the where you can't use the X button to, at all. And I've been seeing a lot of challenges like that on YouTube lately. Is that is that where LPing is going to in the future, where we just do like videos of like can I beat Skyrim without using any items or can I beat Kingdom Hearts 1 without using a single magic spell, which you can't do because you need magic to get through certain areas of that game. Actually, do you? There are some you need it for, but... Actually, there is one, there was one challenge that I saw, like, can you beat Kingdom Hearts without healing once? Like, you can... Like, if you get health back, you have to get it through, like, defeating enemies. You can't use cure, you can't use any items or tents or stuff like that. That's That seems like a fun thing to do, but I'm just curious if that's where gaming is going to go in the future. Because I've watched guys and channels explode for doing stuff like that, and it's like, here I am just still making my same old crummy Let's Plays. I don't know. Actually, the prize pods might not even show up the more I think about it. And I'm gonna die. So let's jump to Aqua because she can heal. Also because of magic. Um, but I've seen channels like just skyrocket because of stuff like that. And then you know, it's kinda, it's kinda sad, you know? I wanna... I'd, I'd like to get some boosts too, but I'm, I don't like to whore myself out. I like to keep myself and grow at my own tempo, and so far it's kinda paid off. For a while I was like stagnant at like 35, 3600, and hey, they showed up! And unfortunately this hasn't leveled up, so I'm only gonna be able to get 15 hits in. But, I can get some Merry Berry. Oh, Merry Mint, I'm sorry, I thought it was Merry, Merry, Merry. Apple Pie, Merry Mint, and I think it was Gasp Berry was the other one. Was it? Let's find out. No, Merry Dairy. Dairy and a pie. That's beautiful. I love dairy. Moo. And all that jazz. But I've seen, like, channels, like, just... It explode in recent months and stuff. It's probably because of the world being on fire right now, but hey, what you gonna do? Um, I've noticed, uh, um, I just had thought of his name, too, this channel's name. Uh, oh, um, uh, Dry Bread is the guy I was thinking of. He does, like, the Pokemon challenges, and... They're like get they're like ridiculous ones. Like, can I beat Pokemon without going to the Pokemon Center? Or can I be one was he did the Gen 1 run where you can only use the moves that a Pokemon knows when you catch it. And Gen 1 was mean when it came to stuff like that. Like the best damaging move you could get from a Pokemon was like what, Stomp? It's just crazy, dude. It's just crazy. Uh, the rest of the report should be all story stuff, and I'll look up that later. Because we don't really have to. And since the dwarves have basically told us to piss off, we might as well just go and piss off. And hopefully we'll start leveling up soon, because... Gotta be honest, I'm... I'm dreading doing this stuff later because I'm dreading some later levels because Fen does not have the best defense. His best defense is essentially doing like hit and runs. Which I don't mind doing in games like this, but it does, it is a little counterintuitive. 
You, and you, but you don't want to just like power your way past them like with Terrence. You want to play the game the way they've designed it, but I don't know. With Terra, it's easy to power your way through them, and with Aqua, it's easy to do it. But with with Ven, it's it's a little different. Like I said, I don't mind that. It's just a little. It, it takes a little while to get used to. I imagine it'll take me maybe one or two recording sessions to get used to being Ven. And ultimately, by the time I'm 100% used to being Ven, I'll probably be done with it, and then we gotta go back and do. Uh, gotta go play as Aqua, and then go back to being Terra for the post-game stuff. Because Terra is the one I'm most good with. Because. I don't know, I just like using really strong characters and stuff like this where you can just one-shot enemies with one swing of the Keyblade or one special move. I don't know. Alright, let's keep going. Into the woods we go!